Any bloggers out there? Any readers of blogs? All right, if, if you're an avid blogger and you read blogs, you're obviously going to know our next presenter. Um, we're very fortunate to have her. Um, she just came out of YPN leadership, and now she's in Miami leadership. So she transitioned from being a young professional to a not as young, but still young professional. Uh, <laughs> I tell you, if you're a blogger, you know Miamiism.com. If you're a young professional, you know this young woman. And if you're on social media, you absolutely positively must follow her on all of her social media portals. She's going to talk to you today about managing your social reputation. Please welcome Inez Hegedus Garcia. You're so sweet. Is there a clicker? Let me ask a question before I start. How many of you were here this morning? Awesome, awesome. I'm glad to hear that. Um, when Deborah asked me to talk about reputation management, this is one that hits home really great because we live in a world of information right now. Information is readily available to everybody. And I'll give you a quick example. I had a listing where the buyer came in with an offer. They knew everything about this seller when they got a divorce, how many kids they had, whatever. So what happens here is that people are Googling. They're Googling you, they're Googling your competition. It's, the information is readily available and it's important for you to know what's being said about you and how to deal with that information. Now, obviously we love good positive things are said about us, but you need to be really, really aware of when something is negative. So, okay, so tracking. You should be tracking today, not only yourself, your competition, your clients, your sellers, the product that you have, the niche market. If you were here with Irina's presentation, the beauty of what Irina told you is to Google yourselves. That's, a, that's step number one. If you haven't done that already when you leave here today, I need you to Google yourself in combinations of your name, okay? And your niche market as well. There's tons of really great monitoring tools out there, okay? If you Google social media monitoring tools, you'll get all kinds of really great articles that will give you thousands of tools that you can use. Um, I just mentioned some on this slide, but I can tell you the most important one that you should be using is Google Alerts, okay? It's easy to set up, it's user-friendly. You just go on there and put your name every time your name is mentioned, um, your competitors, <laughs> whatever you want to learn from, and you get an automatic email to your inbox with what's going on. Okay, now, there's one part that you can control, which is the beauty of that. And as realtors, testimonials sometimes are really, really difficult to obtain, right? How many of you get testimonials from your clients? And sometimes you have to ask and re-ask and ask again, right? So Real Satisfied is a product that I use that I love, um, and I encourage everybody to at least try it. It's one of the products that is offered by an amazing association. I believe you can get up to three surveys sent Test it. Test it out to see if you like it. I, I really encourage you to do that. Now, what Real Satisfied does, and, I, and I'll go through it, is that it sends your clients a survey. Now, this is what Real Satisfied says they do. I think they do a lot more than just this. But it identifies your brand advocates. It validates your client's experience, whether you're working with buyers or sellers. And it shares your success stories. What I do is, before I send out the survey, I let my clients know that at the end of the survey, they'll have a section where they can fill out a testimonial, and I ask them to write it before they take the survey. And I warn them ahead of time that they're going to be getting it. Now, the profile page, you, you create a profile page, super easy, to, it takes you literally five minutes. And you have a vanity key where you can customize your URL with your name. 
And your testimonials, all of them end up in this one page or wherever you syndicate, which is the power of this tool. You can, um, you have in the, the back end, and this is what I'm showing you in these slides, you have the ability to post to Facebook, put all your profiles, your social media profiles there, and then your personal information, photos, etc. The syndication is what I find powerful. Okay, do um, you know how many places you can ask your clients to go leave a testimonial on? But you really have no control of those. By having them all in this particular tool, then you have the ability to syndicate where you want them to go. Okay, so you receive a testimonial from a client, you're able to approve it before it goes out, but it automatically syndicates, for example, to realtor.com is that if that's where you want it to go. Um, there's talks of them opening up syndication to other portals, but right now is Realtor.com. Now, it gives you statistics, and then you also have the ability of turning off the statistics or not. So what I did is, um, before you start this, send yourself a survey, okay? Um, I believe if you go to their homepage, you have the ability to send yourself a survey, just so you know exactly what you're sending your client, what your client is gonna be seeing before they get it. The beauty of this is not only can you send this to your seller clients and your buyer clients, but you can also send them when you lose a listing presentation, you can learn why and get some feedback from that, and you can send it to peers. So you know those times that you work with an agent that you had a really great rapport with and the transaction was smooth and beautiful? Why, why not share the love and work with each other more often? And that's strange. The client will be really surprised to see a testimonial from a peer. Now, the, every single step of this process, it gives you, um, you, you, you see it before it gets sent out to your client. So whatever your client's gonna see, you get to see it, okay? So you don't have any surprises of what you sent out. I'm not gonna show you the things about the actual survey. What was interesting is that I was doing a presentation about this product for the Board of Governors, and it was really funny. When I tried to get the survey back, it, like the system told me it quarantined it. So what, what I was very impressed with this whole quarantine part of it is that the system cannot be gamed. So you can't create um, email addresses and send yourself surveys and say how great you are in a hundred different ways, this will be actual clients doing it and the system catches on to if you're gaming the system, which was great because I was creating an example saying how great Ines was and how beautifully she handled the transaction. Now, the types of questions that the survey will ask, and please, like I said, just, just take it so you know, not only um, how you heard about the the actual agent, why you chose the brokerage, um, the type of sale that you handled, um, the scale of services, the performance of the broker. So this tool is not only good for agents, it's good for brokers as well. So if you wanna monitor how your agents are doing, it's beautiful. Plus, you're also helping your agent to push testimonials, because a lot of us just are too busy and don't think that that's important. At the end of the survey, they have the option, like I said before, to fill out a testimonial. And then it thanks them, but I'll, I'll get back to it later. So the finished reviews, when you get an email and you say, your client finished the review, you're able to go back, check to see if you wanna publish it or not. You know, if you get a review that's not quite favorable or you don't wanna publish, you just leave it private. And then it gives you the options of getting a report, like a PDF of the report, in getting a really pretty testimonial. Um, you get the option of reviewing it, and then you have the option of saying thanks. So this is what, what, it, said, uh, what it looks like when you have approved the review. So it has, it has four steps. The first step is, would you like us to show this testimonial. So that's when you go yes or no. The second step is if you want to syndicate it to like Facebook, Twitter, or Realtor.com. What I do 
and I, and I, I play around with all these tools to see how I can use them with other social media platforms. I put it in, the, you see that, that nice graphic with the testimonial, I actually put it on my Facebook page and I have uh, an album within my Facebook business page that's called Client Testimonials. So you go in there and you see other number of testimonials that, that have been written. And then Realtor.com, and I'll get to what, what it looks like in Realtor.com, which is beautiful. And the last step is saying things, and you have the ability to give your client, like, uh, and you choose the denomination, a uh, Starbucks card for filling out the testimonial, which I, th I think it's a little nice extra. I love to put my testimonials on Miamiism, so that's one of the important things that, that I love. And... Um, and I have a section just with these testimonials. So I just copy and paste and, and include it on my website. And I have control over it. It's my site. And I can remove, add, or adjust as necessary. And here are the, the Starbucks card. Now, Realtor.com. Realtor.com has come a long way from you know five, six years ago of what your profile looks like. Um, Irina earlier on, and so did Neil, mentioned how important it is for you to go to every social media platform and fill out your profile. Okay, you need to make sure that your brand carries. You have to make sure that and, and from, from brand to website to what your photo looks like, just make sure that everything carries and it's well filled out and, and, and provides enough information about you. Realtor.com right now has the ability to show those ratings and reviews that you saw from your testimonial from Real Satisfied. I, I love when you find a tool that works in different platforms and they work well together, they play well together. You also have the ability of seeing these recommendations. Okay, so Realtor.com a few years ago, I believe it was five years ago, they, they were talking about how to integrate social into the platform, okay? And obviously, Realtor.com is our platform. It's not the other. So that's the one we have control on, and that's the one. I have been getting referrals from people just looking at my Realtor.com profile because it's so complete. So the social connections is what, what's important in this Realtor.com, and they're going to continue moving forward and in being able to integrate the social media platforms within Realtor.com. So the talk, which I'm, I'm hoping they'll come up with this really soon, is that if you have a common friend in Facebook with the client, then they can see, oh, these, these. so the client comes into Realtor.com, finds you, and says, oh, we have all these people either have worked or have friends in common with Ines. You know, it gives them a sense of, I know this person, I can trust this person, I will work with this person. So that's the integration that will follow that I think is extremely powerful. And I always, always end my presentations with the same slide. The slide is, we need to never forget the basics. As realtors in South Florida, we forget that it's crucial to answer our telephone and return phone calls on a timely basis. So I beg you all, if you leave with something today, please answer your telephone. I am always available with questions. Um, this is where I am. This is all my information. You can tweet me, Facebook me, Instagram me, whatever you're comfortable with. But um, please email me if you have any questions on this, if, if you have any suggestions. I love to brainstorm. Um, the more I can help you with your business, the more we can work better in the future. And I think um, it's important for us to have collaboration as agents and, and make our industry better with just, yeah, tools are tools, but we're the ones that count here. So please feel free, any of you, to contact me if you have any questions at all, and thank you.